Courtney Walsh is a legend. He's got a wealth of knowledge in terms of fast bowling, and he can only serve the Bangladeshi bowlers for the future. I mean, as long as they're willing to learn, he's got a lot to offer. So I'm quite sure that these guys will get better as long as Courtney's there. I mean, if you look at all the teams today, they still got at least two good fast bowlers. The problem I see over the years is that the pitches are so slow that most teams turn to spinners. Nowadays, the pitches are getting better, like this World Cup, for instance. You know I mean, many of us came here f thinking that it's going to be a high-scoring World Cup. No, it's not so. The pitches are a bit helpful for the fast bowlers. Hence, we've seen a lot of fast bowlers doing well. And the scores aren't really huge. So that's good. I'd like to see a good contest between bat and ball. So fast bowlers are there. It's just that if the pitches are better, we will see more fast bowlers. Most of the cricket pundits figure that the top four teams are Australia, India, New Zealand and England. And everyone expects them to be in the semi-finals. I'm hoping to see some upsets, to be honest with you, to keep the World Cup interesting. You don't, you don't want it to be a straightforward World Cup. So you never know. Weather may, be, may play a part. We may see one or two upsets. You never know. But I'm just hoping the West Indies make the semi-finals. Oh, music. I mean, music, this, music um, is going very well. Still with the spirited band. And, um, you know, who knows? I mean, it's getting better and better. And hopefully we can go international. Yeah.